people welcome back to shrimp life today i'm going to tell you about one of the loves of my life that is the green jade neocaridina shrimp my all-time favorite color variant of neocaridina shrimp i've been keeping them since 2014 yes that is a very long time and they've been around that long however they always haven't looked the way they look right now from 2014 to about 2018 they were much more variable in shades of green. So if you had a colony of green jades, they threw a lot of different shades from grass green to yellow green to occasionally and very rarely some really dark green ones, green with back line. So a variety, you've got a whole mixed bag of greens. Whereas now with these really dark high grade emerald colored shrimp, deeply colored, they are very, very consistent. If you cull your shrimp, if you keep up with it and are diligent, they will produce and yield almost close to 100%. I, I very rarely pluck out culls, and most of the culls are males, and most of them are just not up to the standard. So I pull them out, and then I just sell them to the other hobbyists who are just starting out and just want to dabble with shrimp and try them out. So I don't cull and kill them, I just, you know, take them out of this tank to keep them out of the breeding colony. When it comes to culling the green jades, what I do is I just feed them all when they all come up to the front of the tank. I take a good look at what's happening and I pull out the ones that I know are not going to turn out really nice. As you can see, all of these really young shrimp show good color at a young age. The only difference is um, they are more transparent than the adults. So the Adults get super dark and super densely colored, whereas the young ones, even though they have a nice color green, it's sort of translucent, and that improves over time and with age. All of my shrimp are homebred, and I'm selling green jade shrimp in Canada, so if you're looking for some, please check out my shop, shrimplife.net. All of my shrimp are homebred, healthy and disease-free. And one of my pieces of advice for successful shrimp keeping and breeding is to start with healthy stock. So when and if you have homebred shrimp available to you, I highly urge you to support your local breeders and their efforts and also to help yourself by starting with quality stock. And that's it for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.